everybody. Here we are at video five. Wow. Welcome back to my study. In some ways, this week has whizzed by and in other ways, it's really dragged along. So I hope you're still doing okay. And I hope that you managed to find lots of interesting things to do indoors over the weekend. Let's find out what I can get from my shelf this morning. Well, I am going to choose this because I think some of you will have spotted it on the shelf behind me and be wondering what it is. So, it is in fact an egg. It's an ostrich egg. So there's the hole, it's a, it's, a, it's a shell and somebody has put transfers stickers on it and then covered it with this sort of glaze to make it strong and on the front there is a picture of this very special person. Do you know who it is? I think some of you will do. Shout out his name. Did you get it right? It's Nelson Mandela. And he was the president of South Africa. And on this side of the egg, there is a map of Africa. And South Africa is right at the very bottom. On the side of the egg, can you see there are some African animals an elephant a rhinoceros a lion i think it's a leopard and oh something that looks like a buffalo or perhaps you could find out i think they're called the big five and when you go to south africa if uh, if you go on a safari then you go to look out for those big five animals. Anyway, back to Nelson Mandela. He was an amazing person and he had a lot of courage. And he knew that what was going on in his country was unfair, was wrong and not how God wanted it to be. It was not following Jesus' teaching of how we should love one another as much as God loves us. Because the white people were treating the black people very badly. And you know what? It doesn't matter what colour your skin is. Everybody is made in the image of God. Everybody is equal and loved by God. And Nelson Mandela knew that. And so he he spoke up, he had the courage and he led the people. He got himself into a little bit of trouble and did end up in prison for a long time. However, his book, which is why I picked this up as well, is called The Long Walk to Freedom. And eventually, like I said at the very beginning, he became the president of South Africa and he did an amazing job. But I'm not going to tell you any more about him because that could be your challenge for today. If you don't know anything about him, then you can look him up. And if you do know something about him, you can tell the people around you. Did you know? Here's an amazing fact about Nelson Mandela. At this time of uncertainty, we also need to have great courage. And we also need to make sure everything's fair for everybody around us. And that everybody gets food and everybody gets looked after. Because that's what Jesus told us to do, to love one another, to love each other as much as he loves us. And that's a big challenge at the best of times. 
but in difficult times we have to remember it even more and to put that into action to have the courage and be inspired by people like Nelson Mandela so for our prayers today what shall we do I think we could have an egg shaped piece of paper and then draw pictures on that piece of paper and write the names as well of other courageous inspirational people that we want to pray for this morning and thank God for and so we could put Nelson Mandela but there are lots of other people that you know who've done amazing and courageous things and there are people right now doing amazing and courageous things to help us in this situation so we could write their names down as well and then put your egg shape um, peg it on a piece of string or stick it on the fridge or you know sort of somewhere where you can see it and then you can remember that not just today but other days as our time goes on because we need to keep praying for everybody who's doing their best to help us to help each other to help each other love one another so i think and i hope you do too that i've done pretty well with this challenge we've done five videos and I've got lots of things still on my shelf but I thought that you might be getting fed up of seeing me every day so some of my friends at the Board of Education they volunteered to also do an off-the-shelf time of worship and I wondered if you'd like to have a turn yourself so on the screen now, you can see our special off the shelf hashtag. All you need to do is film yourself with something from your shelf and tell us how it reminds you about God or Jesus, your faith or living life as a Christian. You may need an adult to help you. After all, I needed Dave with all his technical skill. So ask them to post it on their social media account and use the hashtag off the shelf so we can see your ideas and share what you have to say. So I'll see you next week, but not every day. And look out for me, but also look out for my friends from the Board of Education and we can be nosy and see what's on their shelves as well and what we can learn uh, from each other about God, about Jesus, about what it means to have faith and to encourage one another at this time. And then I've already had a great idea for when it's Holy Week. So I'll definitely be back then with some different but still very special eggs. So I've loved being with you this week and I'll see you soon. Bye.